Okay, so we're here at uh, FDIC, and I'm gonna walk you around our 2022 Pierce Arrow XT. So we designed this apparatus to be very uh, efficient for our first due area, which is a very uh, diverse area, including uh, suburban, industrial, and rural areas. Uh, so we fit a lot of stuff into this uh, small apparatus uh, to, to help us out with those uh, diverse areas. <clears throat> we have nine pre-connected hand lines on this engine. On the bumper, we have a 150-foot bumper line. And then going around the sides of the apparatus, we have various other pre-connected lengths of hose <clears throat> that enable us to choose the right length for whatever situation that we have. In the cab, we went with vinyl seats and the diamond plate flooring, which will enable us to clean a little bit easier uh, to get rid of any contaminants that we might have after a fire. In the rear, there's seating for four more firefighters uh, with the same vinyl seats and diamond plate flooring. EMS compartments to store our EMS gear out of the way, but also to be easily accessible. Here at the pump panel, we have four cross lays, two off each side. The pre-connected cross lays are gonna be uh, 200 feet in length. Having two off each side helps us to uh, be able to, to pull two lines on whatever side the fire is on without having to stretch the line around the side of the apparatus to, to make that a lot uh, easier for us. The pump panel has the uh, Linex coating uh, to be a little bit more durable. Uh, we also specified this garden hose outlet and it's plumbed through a heat exchanger that draws heat from the engine to warm the water. So we'll use that to provide gross decon after the fire for the firefighters uh, without the water being too cold to use. We also have the Trident air primer and the gauge next to the primer displays the chassis air, which is what the primer uses to operate. If that air gets too low, uh, then we have an alarm, but that helps the pump operator to, to troubleshoot any issues with the, with the air primer. Compartments. Uh, this one has dividers, vertical dividers in it that allow us to store short joints of hose for extending the supply line. And there's also a spot for the operator's gear. We have the PlymoVent compartment drying system in all the compartments so that if things get put away wet, uh, that runs and uh, blows air through the compartment to keep everything dry. Uh, we didn't put a generator on this engine to try to save some space, so all the electric tools that we're going to have are going to be battery operated. So there's receptacles in many of the compartments which are tied to the shoreline and that will let us plug in the battery chargers for all those tools while we're parked at the station to keep everything charged. At the rear of the apparatus, we actually have a uh, outlet plug for the Firecom system. So we, uh, we use that so that the officer can plug in here at the rear as we're backing up, picking up hose, and he can actually talk to the driver and, as he's spotting the apparatus backing up. We also have four pre-connected lines off the rear there's a two and a half hand line, a 400 foot inch and three quarter hand line, a second 400 foot inch and three quarter hand line, and then up top is a, is a pre-connect for a step gun that we'll use. We'll also carry 800 feet of three inch hose and 1200 feet of five inch supply line. The rear inlet is a combination inlet outlet so if we want to use it as an outlet we can use that as an outlet but normally we'll use it as an inlet we carry uh, 87 feet of ground ladders on this apparatus there's a 24 foot extension ladder a 14 foot roof ladder and the 10 foot attic ladder in the rear compartment here but because our first due truck company sometimes comes from as far as 20 minutes away, we also carry a 35 foot extension ladder and a second 14 foot roof ladder on the ladder rack on the side. The water tank is a thousand gallon water tank 
but it's an L-shaped configuration to give us the low hose bed in the back so that the pre-connected lines are still easy to pull. As we come around to the officer side, we have storage for high-rise packs. So we can fit three bundles there uh, with the hose uh, for standpipe operations. This compartment has a rack for fire extinguisher storage. We also put a lot of scene lighting on this engine so uh, that we can light up the, uh, the scene very well. So we have the high-vis floodlights both at the rear uh, portion of the body and on, uh, over top of the cab. And another unique feature that we, uh, that we added are the small spotlights on the side of the rear. So those are a narrow spotlight that's controlled by a switch in the cab to enable the driver to spot the fire hydrant on the side of the road. When he turns those lights on, the rear view camera also turns on so that he can watch the hose come off the back through the rear view camera. <clears throat> we have extra scene lighting above the rear wheels. This is a combination emergency light and the scene light. The scene light actually comes on with the turn signals so that the driver can see the rear wheel uh, if it's dark in the mirror. We have hose trays on both sides for a three inch hose that we would use to connect to a standpipe. And then there's a smaller portion of the tray that'll hold the garden hose that we use off the, the garden hose outlets. So that covers most of the features that we put into this apparatus. Uh, we were very happy to be able to fit a thousand gallons of water, 87 feet of ground ladders, 1200 feet of five inch hose, uh, and still keep the wheelbase under 185 inches. And the overall length of this apparatus is under 31 feet. So we're very, very happy about that. This is gonna be a great piece of apparatus for us for many years to come.